Greeting Legacy family and friends. We pray that you're doing well and that you're experiencing the Lord's grace and strength and, and comfort and hope in these very interesting times that we're living in. I just wanted to share a word of encouragement with you. Um, I had lunch a couple of weeks ago with a Marine and he was explaining to me some of the tension that builds, some of the anxiety perhaps that, that builds up when one is trained to do a task under certain circumstances and the opportunity to, to act upon that training is, is long in coming. And uh, as he was explaining this to me, though I am no Marine at all, I, I understood what he was saying. I felt what he was feeling to a degree, and I think you do too. Uh, we as believers of the Lord Jesus Christ and, and, and students of Scripture and temples of the Holy Spirit, we're trained and we're, we're, we're well-versed in truths and we are uh, built up to be and to do in certain ways that Certain circumstances give us the arena to, to, to really act upon. Um, while the good times that we've experienced over um, the last long stretch, uh, if we're honest and grateful to the Lord, we've had a good long stretch. And, and, in, and in that stretch, there are ample opportunities to show the grace of God, to show the love of God, the fruit of the Spirit. But it's moments like these that we're living in with so much going on around us and so much going on within us that we have the opportunity to act in faith upon all that God has poured out upon us through his word and by his spirit and in his church. And, and this, is, this is an hour in which the church can, in front of a, a watching world and to the glory of our, our gracious God, we can act and be in ways that glorify the Lord. Matthew chapter seven, Jesus speaks of two houses that are built. And then he tells how both of those houses had to feel the strength and the wrath of a strong storm that came upon them. But when it was all done and the clouds had cleared and the rainbow was in the sky and it was all said and done, one house was standing and the other, he said, had a great fall. The difference between the two houses was not that one experienced a storm and the other didn't. They both did. The difference was that one was built upon the rock. The rock that is, according to Jesus, God's word when acted upon. That when we build our houses upon lives of obedience and obedience to the gospel, our house, as it were, our lives become so sturdy and so enduring that when the storms come, they only serve to prove how glorious he is and how trustworthy he is, as opposed to the shifting sands of this world. And I want to invite us to to go back to that which we already know, that which we've been well trained in, to hold to the Word of God. Don't fall into the lie of, of thinking that because we built our house upon biblical principles, storms won't come our way. Storms come to both houses. That, that's how the difference is, is shown to the rest of the world. And let's show that difference. This is a storm. We're not going to downplay it, but it is our finest hour. If we will but hold to those truths, set our anchor deep in those realities, and then just trust the Lord and encourage one another to do that. And I want to encourage us to continue to communicate at every opportunity for reasons big and small or no reason at all, just reaching out to each other, encouraging one another in the Lord, in the Word. I want to invite you to join us Sunday morning when we uh, get together, not at the same place, but at the same time and worshiping the same God in song and in a time in the Word. We'll be sending out all of the uh, directions as to how to, how to meet us uh, at that live stream and continue to uh, track with our blog on the website and the app and Facebook and Twitter and email and text and we're going to try and do all we can to stay in good close touch loving each other caring for each other encouraging one another and when all the clouds are gone and there's a rainbow in the sky we'll be found standing and praising the Lord who kept us
Love you, church. God bless you.